Hi everyone! Um, in this lesson we are going to be looking at perspective and we are going to be doing a bird's eye view um, of some skyscrapers. So our learning objective, the skill is to draw using a single focal point and the context is drawing a bird's eye view. So I'll explain that in the next slide. Um, I'll just let you know what you need. So you need a square piece of paper. It doesn't have to be square, but it does just make it a little bit easier. Um, maybe use a couple of pieces of paper just in case you need to try again. Um, pencil, whiteboard pen, fine liner, ruler, and um, some coloring pencils. Also make sure you have a rubber just in case you have to rub out any mistakes. So um, bird's eye view. So imagine you are looking down from the top of a very tall building and this is what bird's eye view looks like. So it's it's called that because if you imagine a bird flying over the top and then looking down onto buildings, that's why it's called bird's eye view. So here we've got a picture and then a drawing. So have a think about what do you notice about the edge of the picture compared to the middle? And what about the ground compared to the top of the building? So have a little think about that. So around the edge, you can see that these buildings are quite wide and then they go down, don't they? They get narrower towards the bottom. And these buildings here, some of them, you can only see the top of them, which are shapes here. So you've got some rectangles and squares. And here, we can't really see the tops of the building, can we? It's just like we're looking down. So this is, this is showing you the perspective from a bird's eye view. So the distance between objects in a picture is called perspective. So to draw with perspective makes a 2D picture look more realistic. So if you have a look at these examples here, it just makes the 2D, it adds that 3D element. So it stops it looking so flat. And it looks as if it's it looks more like a picture of it than just a drawing. And that is what we're going to be doing today. So here we've got some of the step by steps. Um, if you just have a look at this slide, we are going to I've broken it down a little bit more in this video um, just so we can do it together. So we start with shapes and this goes into your focal point. So your focal point is this in the middle. So if I go back to here. This here is sort of your focal point. So it's also called a vanishing point and it's where it looks as though, so I'll go back to this slide. It looks as though the buildings are sort of vanishing into that point, okay? And that's where your eye focuses on, okay? So let's start with our first step. So I've got my square piece of paper and I have drawn a dot in the middle Using my, I've used a whiteboard pen, but I would advise you to use your pencil um, so that you can make a dot, but then color, uh, not color it out, uh, erase it afterwards. So do it, not huge, but big so that you can see it. And that is your focal point there in the middle of your paper. Right, so here is where you need your ruler. So you're going to start off drawing these three shapes. So you've got two rectangles and a square. And they're not too close to the edge of the paper. They're nice and spaced out. And this one's sort of turned around. It's longer. These two are a bit smaller. So pause your video. Use your ruler to make sure it's nice and straight and draw out these shapes. They don't have to be exactly the same. It just makes it a bit easier if they are. Right, so the next shape that you're going to draw is this L shape. Now, this is the challenge. You don't have to draw this L shape, but it would be really good if you gave it a try. Um, it's quite tricky to draw. A good way to do it is to draw a square and then just sort of cut the corner off here by drawing another little half of a smaller square or like a half of a triangle. Um, and then if you pause your video, make sure you're using your ruler again and get these shapes drawn on okay and then we'll go to the next uh, slide to see what the next um, shapes are right so my next shapes I've just done two squares so I've done a nice big square here straight underneath my focal point and then a smaller square that's a bit closer in so this one's going to be a bit of a shorter building when we're finished 
So as you can see, it sort of goes round in a bit of a circle. I've done six shapes there. You don't have to do six. You could do a few more. It's up to you. Um, you might want to even add a circle in there. But for now, I'm, I've just kept it at some squares, some uh, rectangles and this L shape. OK, so pause your video, get yourself up to that step. And then we'll have a look at how we're going to draw our lines into the focal point. And this is where you'll need a ruler as well. Right, so I'm starting on this square here. And what I've done is I've lined my ruler up with this corner going down into the focal point and I'm drawing a line straight down, okay? And I'm then going to do it from here, this point, and then from this point, okay? And I'll show you what that looks like on the next video, uh, sorry, the next slide. So here, can you see I've done three straight lines from one, two, three corners straight down into that focal point and it creates that sort of triangle shape. And that adds that 3D element. And the next one, you're going to do this small square here. Exactly the same. You use one, two, three corners. Use your ruler to draw a straight line straight down into the focal point. You are going to do that with every, uh, every shape that you've got around here. Okay, so pause your video. Get your lines drawn in. And then we'll have a look at finishing these ones as well. Okay. Right, so, okay, so now we're going to go on to the um, L-shaped one. This one is a little bit trickier just because there's a few more corners to do. Um, so you're going to do this corner, this one, this one, and this one. So the first one, mine's in line with my focal point. Yours might not be, but mine's just a straight line from this corner to here. And then I'm going to go on to the next corners. I'll show you. Here, so I've gone from this corner straight down, this corner straight down, and this corner straight down. Don't miss this one out because that shows you the way that it um, does like a right angle here. And then my last two will be those two, okay? And I'll show you. So this next slide here, so this shows you what they all look like. And can you see how that has created that vanishing point where those buildings? seem to disappear into this point here okay so we did these three corners here these three corners here and it's very thin on that bit because it's right nearly in line with the vanishing point okay so pause the video get your lines drawn in for all your buildings and on the next one we're going to have a look at creating lines to make windows okay Right, so to make the windows, I'm going to start first with some long lines going down, okay? And it's exactly the same as what we've just been doing, but we're going to start further in, okay? So I start my line at this, this line here, and I go straight down into my focal point. Same here, nice and evenly spaced out, so there's the same, same sort of amount of sh uh, space between them, okay? And then I'm going to put another line in there. I think I do that a bit later. So pause the video, have a go at doing that, and then we're going to have a go at this one on the next one and the L-shaped one. Okay, so as you can see, I've done it on um, this one here. And just like before, I've just done lines going straight down, but I'm just spacing them out across here. And then I'm doing the exact same thing on my l shape. So pause your video. You don't have to put lines in all of them. It's totally up to you. You can if you want to. What you could do instead is you could put a triangle going down on here and then do the lines. But it's up to you. You could do circles as well or just squares going down. This just makes it a bit easier. Right, so I've done nearly all of my lines here. I'm just going to add some more here when I'm done. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the lines going across here to show how you turn them into windows, into little squares, okay? So my ruler has been lined up with the edge of this square and I'm just going from this line to this line. 
and I'm going to do lines all the way down as you can see evenly spaced out and now it looks like windows doesn't it we've got squares here and I'm going to do the same here and I'll show you that on the next slide so I've done the same here. I've lined my ruler up with this side. And can you see that it now makes like a right angle, an L shape to show that 3D element? And then what I'll do, like I said, I'm going to I'm going to add a line there, I think, because that's I think there's room for it. And you're going to go around all your windows that you've done. You're going to add those lines in to create that more realistic look. So have a look. Can you see how my buildings, they just look a lot more like buildings now rather than just shapes. So here you've got the top and then you've got the windows going down. So pause your video, have a go at doing that. Um, oh, sorry. Pause your video here and then with the um, L shape, you're just going to follow it down there to there, across and down. And you do that all the way down, down, across down okay if it's a bit too tricky maybe have a go at doing it on here instead so next we're going to look at the shading how you can shade it right so when you are shading what you want is you want the darker bits at the bottom and it to get lighter at the top so this top that's the top of your building that is where the sun is shining down and the light is so there's not going to be really any shadow on top or here and as you go down closer to the focal point it's going to get much much darker because the sun the light won't reach it there so that'll be where the shading is so i'm going to do it around all of these buildings to show how it gets closer to that focal point and the shading gets darker so on that next i'll show you on here Right, so as you can see, now I've not finished off on all of them, but I've done it on some of them. You can see that my shading, nice and dark here, and then it's it slowly gets um, lighter. Do you remember when we did about the gradient as it goes from dark to light? And then there's just, I've done nothing on here because I've got my, thinking my sun is just shining down on the tops of these buildings and making the shadow down here, okay? So have a go at adding that onto all of your buildings. You could do it a little bit darker up here if you wanted to, as long as it gets to nice and light up here. I think that'll look brilliant. So pause your video. Have a go at adding that shading if you want to add a little bit more details, more windows, maybe even add um, some things at the top. I'll show you on the next side what you could add to it. So as you can see, this one, we've added a bit of colour on here and we've moved the focal point. We're going to focus on that um, on next lesson on how you can change the focal point. But if you think the building should have darker lines around the edges um, and there should be light at the top and darker towards the V piece of the vanishing point. OK, so where it looks like those buildings vanish. Um, and if you do have a handwriting pen, you could go over your windows in pen. So you've got this basis here, and now what you can do is build on that. You can add some color, do your shading. You could do if you've already done it in pencil. You could get you could try again on another piece of paper with um, coloring pencils, and add your shading. So darker at the bottom and getting lighter, and then do your dark lines on the outside, and then add in your windows. You could add here. We've got a swimming pool. We've got you could add your uh, letter of your name. We've got some extra boxes on top. If if you're feeling confident, have a go at doing that. And then the next lesson, what we're going to have a look at is improving our perspective and improving our where our focal point is. So here you see it goes all the way into here. And then next week we'll have a look at how we can show the ground and move the sort of focal points of each um, building. Um, if you need any help with this, make sure that you email year six at Hucklow. Um, take a picture of what you've done, um, send it in, and we'll have a look at that. I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, what you've done, and I'm looking forward to improving it next week. All right, bye, guys.